Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel again. I'm Pradhanesh Pandey and if you guys are new here, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to be swatching and reviewing a product that I recently received from Nykaa. It's none other than the Nykaa Get Cheeky Blush Stick. If you're somebody who's looking for like a pop of color or just something easy to throw in your purse, this just might be it. I've been testing it for a while, especially one shade out of the four shades that they sent me. And I can't wait to show you why I feel that it's going to be one of my favorites. So, um, what I feel about blushes is that I really like it when blushes are, um, when my blush is really customizable and it's just not, um, and somewhere I can just build up the color and it, it's not something that's too pigmented. So, we're going to quickly swatch the products and I'm going to show you how they look like. So let's talk about the outer packaging first. I'm in this pink color box. I'm going to show you the rest of the four shades as well. So this is the outer packaging with neon pink, the usual Nykaa color palette. And it's really nicely cushioned inside as well. And when you pull, and when you pull the blush stick out, it comes in this beautiful neon pink packaging, like a hot pink color. That's usually Nykaa's color palette. And um, they've just written Get Cheeky. That's the name of the blush. I like the color of this packaging. I've never had a packaging or a makeup that's like hot pink in color. I'm just going to quickly open it. So it's quite compact and travel friendly. I love that it comes with this lid on top. So in case if you ever put it in your bag and it's broken from the inside, you can just cap it and the product will not leak from the inside or break or crumble and just fall out. I like that it's come in a twist up form and it looks really creamy and shiny and glossy from the top. I feel it's just not pretty and but it's practical too at the same time. Nykaa's website says it has a cream to powder formula so when you put it on your face it has a cream like texture but it blends like powder. So we're going to try this out. I think this will be really perfect for dewy makeup looks as well and also people who like a dewy or a, even a matte finish. So Nykaa sent me all their four shades. So I'm going to swatch them on my arm first and then I'm going to swatch it on my cheeks. So the first shade is Flirty Peach. It looks more like a really true, it looks like a true peach shade. So I'm going to swatch this on the back of my arm. It has a really creamy texture. It's almost buttery. So I like the color. It's nice, it's soft, and it's a true peach. So let's see how this looks on my cheeks. So I'm gonna swatch them on my arm first and then I'm gonna move to my cheeks. The shade is Pink Passion. It's a really cool toned pink color. Initially I thought that um, it looks more like a mid-tone pink shade. I felt that Flirty Peach and this might be a bit similar because they look quite similar. But no, this is a true pink color. The next shade is Rosy Brush. This is a beautiful true rose color. It's almost like, um, like a nudie rose. I wouldn't say it's a mauve shade, but it has like red undertones to it and it's almost like a peachy or like a mid-tone red color it's not too dark and it's not like a proper red so i think i would say that it has a little bit of brown undertone to it i i can't find space to swatch this now the last shade is very cute so i'm going to swatch this underneath here And this is a really, this is like a mid-tone berry shade. Now, berry cute is like a mid-tone berry color. It has cool undertones to it. I think most of the shades in this range are cool undertone uh, because I feel that they don't have any warm to it. So we're going to see how this looks on my cheeks as well. They're fairly pigmented and let's see how they turn out to be on my cheeks. I really like the last color, this 
very cute i think i've never tried a blush this dark i've tried a purple blush like a deep plum blush but i've never tried a berry blush so i'm quite excited to try this on my cheek the details of my full face makeup are mentioned down in the description below just refer to the description and if you want to know anything just put it down in the comments below so i'm gonna start by applying flirty peach first so i will just straight up apply this onto my cheeks and see how this blends out i'm gonna apply this onto my cheeks first directly because this is a stick blush i want to see how the color payoff is it has a certain fragrance to it it's not heavily fragranced but i'm gonna just use my brush and blend this out to see how this blends it blends out quite well onto my cheeks i like the color of it but um it has a really soft creamy texture and it almost settles down to a powder finish because i think it barely is even showing up on my skin if i'm applying it this way maybe i'm applying it the wrong way because i mean i feel that i may have to build onto this a bit more because after blending out it's not that visible even even in real even in reality it's not visible but i'm just gonna this is my second layer of applying this blush so there is a soft tint of color on my cheeks i think this blush is quite buildable i felt it has quite pigment because the way it's swatched on my hand but so it's quite buildable so you can go for like a sheer or a subtle flush of color or layer it a bit more for like an intense pop of color. The finish of the blush is soft and luminous and it's not sticky being like a stick blush at all. So um, I like the fact that it stays long for a couple of hours as well. The other shade that's Pink Passion on this side of my cheek. I like the fact that the blush is... I feel they've got pretty much the four core colors when it comes to a blush like they've got a peach and then they've got a pink they've got a berry and they've got a rose blush as well so whether you're like opting whether i'm opting like for a natural day or a more glam vibe i feel i can use either of the blushes because it fits almost everything again the formula is creamy it's buildable and i don't have to worry that i've dotted like a lot of it on my cheeks because as i'm blending it it's just it's blending as if it's my skin and it's not looking too much. It gives a nice fresh look on my cheeks. It doesn't look that overwhelming like even if I've got like a lot I can blend it out and it stays quite well. I like this color more than the peach. I feel the peach doesn't look that great on me. I like this color more but um, I think I, I even like the peach one I can't decide just remove the two shades that i swatched earlier now i'm gonna swatch rosy brush so this shade is a true like a mid-tone red color uh, um let's see how this looks on my cheeks i mean the fact that i'm not feeling quite fearful when i'm applying so much because i know after blending out it's just gonna look very seamless uh, I like the fact that like it's a stick foundation, mean, meaning it's just no mess. It's perfect for me when I want to apply makeup on the go, especially for those brush mornings when I'm in a hurry and I just want to put my look together. So you can see the shade. I like this one, and um, I've done this. I've applied these creamy sticks on like a matte foundation, but yet it's just giving a nice creamy, like a natural look on my cheeks which I really like about this blush. Otherwise, usually when you apply like a liquid blush or like a stick blush on your matte makeup, it looks quite, uh, it looks pretty like a soft matte finish unless and until it's a liquid blush or a dewy blush. But being a creamy blush as well, it looks really nice on my cheeks. That, like I've tried a lot of blushes, but this blush kind of stands out because it has a creme to powder formula. But even being a creme to powder formula, it still has a nice, soft dewy look or like a finish I would say it gives a nice it has a unique formula is what I feel the next shade is very cute so this is my favorite shade out of the entire four shades I'm gonna swatch this I just love how care I just love how carefree this blush is making me feel I'm just like putting a lot on my cheeks which I usually do not and it's so pigmented but when you're 
blending it out it just looks natural it doesn't look overly done it's quite versatile and it has a beautiful creamy texture I like this one so um, I really like this one actually it looks flattering on my skin so you can see how the color is that when you're putting it like you're just swiping it it's so pigmented but when you blend it out it blends out really well this is the way like your blush is actually supposed to be I feel I can never just go wrong with this blush even if I've applied too much on my skin I feel I'm gonna have to apply like a bit more I want to see how it looks if I apply a little bit more of this blush I'm gonna try another way to apply this blush I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush and see how this works I feel I've applied too much now but um, I like the fact that even with so it's a good thing that even with a brush I can apply it and it gives a good pigmentation. So that's it for today guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the demo of the Nykaa's Get Cheeky Blush 6 and the links are mentioned down in the description below. If you've been curious about these blushes, I really hope that I gave you some insight. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. If you've tried it or you plan to pick it up, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel as well. And do not forget to hit the notification bell. So you're always notified whenever I post a video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in another makeup video.